Hello students, we will do class first subject maths page number 73. We will learn subtraction with the help of number strip. Let us meet Jimmy. Jimmy likes to jump. Today he wants to jump backward. Students, Jimmy stands at 8 and he has to do 6 backward jumps. He starts backward jumping. Let us see where does he reach after 6 jumps. When Jimmy takes his first jump, he reached at 7. With second jump, he reached at 6. And with third jump, he reached at 5. When he takes fourth jump, he reached at 4. And when he takes his fifth jump, he is at three. He has to do six jumps. So six jump, he is at two. So Jimmy stands at eight, and he takes six backward jump. At last. He reached at 2. So, 8 minus 6 is equal to 2. Now, Jimmy stands at 7. And he wants to do 5 backward jumps. When Jimmy takes his first jump, he reached at 6. With second jump, he reached at 5. With third jump, he reached at 4. And when he takes his fourth jump, he reached at 3. And when he takes fifth jump, he reached at 2. Jimmy stands at 7 and he takes 5 jumps. At last, he reached at number 2. So, 7 minus 5 is equal to 2. Now, Jimmy stands at 5 and he wants to take 2 backward jumps. When he takes his first jump, he reached at 4. And when he takes his second jump, he reached at 3. Jimmy stands at 5 and he takes 2 backward jumps. At last he reached at the number 3. So 5 minus 2 is equal to 3. Jimmy stands at 9. He wants to take 8 backward jumps. So let us see after 8 backward jumps. Where does he reach? When Jimmy takes his first backward jump, he reached at 8. After second jump, he reached at 7. With third jump, he reached at 6. When he takes his fourth jump, he reached at 5. With fifth backward jump, he reached at 4. And when he takes his 6th jump, he reached at 3. When he takes his 7th jump, he reached at 2. And when he takes his 8th jump, he reached at 1. Jimmy stands at 9. He takes... 8 backward jumps and he reached at 1. So, 9 minus 8 is equal to 1. Jimmy stands at 9 and he wants to take 5 backward jumps. Let us see where does he reach after 5 backward jumps. When he takes his first backward jump, he reached at 8 
and with second backward jump he reached at 7 with third backward jump he reached at 6 when he takes his fourth backward jump he reached at 5 when he takes his fifth backward jump he reached at 4 Jimmy stands at 9 he takes his 5 backward jumps and he reached at 4 so 9 minus 5 is equal to 4 Jimmy stands at 8 and he wants to take 4 backward jumps so let us see where does he reach after 4 backward jumps with first backward jump he reached at 7 with second backward jump he reached at 6 with third backward jump he reached at 5 when he takes his fourth backward jump he reached at 4 Jimmy stands at 8 he takes his four backward jumps and reached at 4 so 8 minus 4 is equal to 4. Jimmy stands at 6 and he wants to take 4 backward jumps. Let us see where does he reach after 4 backward jumps? When he takes his first backward jump, he reached at 5. With second backward jump, he reached at 4. When he takes his Third backward jump, he reached at 3. And when he takes his fourth backward jump, he reached at 2. Jimmy stands at 6. He takes his four backward jumps and reaches at 2. So, 6 minus 4 is equal to 2. Now, the pass based question. The question is, in this picture, Jimmy stands at 5. He, if he takes two backward jumps, at the, what number will he reach? There are four answers. A, 2, B, 3, C, 4, D, 5. When Jimmy takes two backward jumps from 5, he reaches at the number 3. So, the answer is B. Students, in your homework, you also solve the subtraction sums with the help of number strips. Okay? Bye!